Hello everyone, I'm Newt and welcome to my Let's Build series. So, today I'm going to show you a building I'm working on right now. And uh, it's supposed to be a spawn point uh, for my friend's server. But they wanted to have a video on it while I'm building it. So, here it is. As you can see, it's a pretty big uh, cathedral-like, uh, church-like building. Uh, in the size of yeah, pretty much a mega build. So in this video we will just start up the series and see what's uh, built right now and what's left to do and uh, so here we go. As you can see uh, the entrance to the building is pretty much already done. Uh, it's I'm not 100% happy with the stairs and the entrance but that's just details right now. Uh, Otherwise, the outside is uh, not really done, but it's have, uh, I've come a long way. As you can see, uh, this wall is missing. And otherwise, I'm just supposed to... I've been thinking about uh, world edit, the same thing on this side. And on the other side, as you can see, it's nothing is built here, but that's just using world edit and that's done. Um, Otherwise, it's mainly the inside that's left, uh, the walls, the where you want the rooms. Uh, as you can see, uh, that's not really much done at all. So, this building will be... There will be a lot to do left before we are finished with this building. And, yeah. As you can see. Uh, the biggest difficulty I have right now is actually to think how, what kind, how I want to, what I want to put inside of it. You see, I started some kind of uh, library-like room right here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that. Uh, it depends on how I want to use this building on the server later on. Uh, if you want some kind of uh, gathering hall or some uh, training spots or yeah or maybe even a nether, nether hub I, I think a nether hub would be pretty cool to build inside of this uh, or at least entrance to the nether hub of course well otherwise it's you can see the materials I've been using is almost Everything is almost stone bricks, shiesel stone bricks, uh, cracked stone bricks. I also have some cobblestone right here on the entrance. And for details, I've been using, or for roof and details, I've been using uh, bricks and also sandstone, as you can see. Um, that's pretty much all of the materials I'm using and working with. I want a very classic, old style, like medieval monastery-like building, so it's pretty much all stone and some details just to make it more alive, not just have simple... Uh, yeah, it's... it. Ha even though I want it to be pretty much dead, like medieval dead, it's cold and simple, I still want it to be fun to look at and much to look at, not just, oh, it's a stone building, that's it. Uh, yeah, so I will let's take a quick look around on this side as well. As you see, it's pretty much symmetrical, and it doesn't have a center block, it's uh, an e even number of blocks on each side, so, as you can see, there's, which I think I have to regret later on, but uh, it will probably work out. But as you can see, it's pretty high in roof. Uh, it's pretty high up to the roof, and it's even higher up in the second rooms. So I probably have to find some cool thing to fill the roof with. As you see, I'm going to have uh, pillars going all the way up and bending to the top. But I probably have some chandeliers or other lightning sources up up there as well. Uh, and something pretty cool would be to also have some kind of uh, obstacle course or parkour course where you have to uh, jump all the way to the top and ride. I mean, like, we got a lot of space, so that's no problem. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all for this introduction video, and I will probably come up with the first building video tomorrow. So, see you then. Bye.